Blood is always red, right? Wrong. Blood comes in a variety of colours. It may be red in humans and in other mammals, but in octopus, for example, have blue blood. And oscillated ice fish have blood that is completely clear. And in Papua New Guinea, they are green-blooded shank. So don't be fooled into thinking blood is always red. In this video, we are going to discover what blood is made of and the roles of the different components. Blood consists of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets and plasma. 55% of our blood is this pale, yellow, sticky liquid called plasma. Plasma is mainly made up of water and proteins. Plasma carries nutrients, hormones and proteins around the body and it also distributes heat around the body, so it is pretty important. However, this is not the part that makes blood red, green, blue or clear. Plasma equals about 92% water and just under 8% plasma. About 45% of our blood is made up of red blood cells. Red blood cells are tiny biconcave disc shaped cells known as erythrocytes. They are made in the bone marrow and contain a special iron containing protein called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is what enables our red blood cells to carry oxygen around the body and it is hemoglobin that makes our blood red. Octopus have a different special protein called hemocyanin which makes their blood blue. And the ice fish doesn't have either hemoglobin or the homocyanin which is why their blood runs clear. Watch our video on red blood cells to learn more about these important biochemical discs. White blood cells and platelets make up less than 1% of our blood. White blood cells are our warriors. They protect our body against invasion from disease causing organisms known as pathogens. These clever little cells do this in two ways. 70% of our white blood cells are phagocytes and engulf the foreign pathogens in a process known as phagocytosis. Or the others are lymphocytes, which produce antibodies. Antibodies bind to the foreign pathogen and stop it from invading further. You will learn more about white blood cells when learning about disease and how our body defends itself against pathogens. And finally, platelets. Platelets make a tiny fraction of our blood. They help the blood to clot when you cut yourself, stopping the bleeding and preventing the wound from becoming infected. From this video, you should now know that blood isn't necessarily red, and the color depends upon what the red blood cells are made up of. Blood consists of the nutrient and the heat transporting plasma, the oxygen carrying red blood cells. And then less than 1% is made up of a very important pathogen-fighting white blood cells. And lastly, the blood clotting platelets.